We would have got Mitch dropped the little train here for uh Oops, and then I ruined it. Um just touch up stuff, getting in the house. A lot of the time he, he mentioned uh people lost deals in the house when you're asking for certain things. So I'm gonna go over that real quick. And then I'm gonna have uh, a couple people come up here and we'll do some pitches. So a lot of this stuff just throughout the summer is gonna get pretty repetitive. Um, just keep in mind, just like NBA, the NFL, sports in general, it's a lot of reps, right? It's gonna be going over same stuff. The D line, O line does the same drills they did in high school as they do now. So similar aspects, just going over this. So in the house, um, I've been getting a ton of people asking me or telling me they're getting stuck at social or how to ask for this and that. So first things first, credit pre-screen. So just for myself personally, um, <coughs> once I get into the house, right, I'll make sure, hey, um, looks like the thermostat's good to go with the panel. Do you have somewhere to sit? I'll sit down with them. And like I've showed you guys in the past, I usually go savings, build value. Um, but this is what to say language-wise to go ahead and ask for customer credit check. So this is what he says, right? He says, cool. Um, so as you're about to fill out the uh, customer info, cool. And then Vivian is just picky about who they work with, right? Uh, they'll just have me do a pre-screen using the last four of your social. What's your last four? Now, what I'll do to usually ask for this, just me, myself, I'll usually build value, get them into the whole thing, and then I'll go, okay, just in case there's an emergency, what was your first and last name? And then what's your phone number? So I'll use that part as if I'm filling in an emergency contact spot. Does that make sense? Right? Um, and I'll go, hey, the last four is just making sure you're gonna qualify for 0% for the financing and stuff like that. Just like I mentioned at the door to make sure that we can pay to put this stuff in here. Um, what is the e-sign consent? So the e-sign, I'll literally just look at them and go, hey, um, this is just making sure you're cool doing everything on the iPad. Right, and making sure we can send everything to you via email. And PSA. Can you go um, one more? Yeah. Swipe backwards. Oh, let me just do this. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> PSA. Uh, this is. I usually do a recap. So as I'm finishing up, I'll go. You know, Karen. This is just making sure you understand the price. Total is $60 a month. You have two separate bills. You have an equipment that you qualified at 0% and a service. This rate will never fluctuate or increase on you for 60 months. After the 60 months is done, obviously your equipment's paid off and it just drops to the flat monitoring rate. Or you can say, cool, and this is just for the service amount. Yeah. Um, are you gonna go into the monthly services over the 60 months on the survey? Um, pops up the, the I, as far as like briefing for the survey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right before the survey, it's the same thing. It's just recapping on stuff. So I'll, I'll go back and I'll say, hey, um, just like I just said, the price is this. This is where this is coming from. Zero percent is your equipment. That's this thirty-six dollars. Twenty is your service amount of your monitoring that connects you to the police, fire, medical. For this is your total. And then I'll just go. This rate stays the same for sixty. After sixty months, it just drops to twenty bucks a month. This has been the biggest one I've been getting. Um, asked about so social security um, this one was super frustrating just when I first started this is huge so review their birthday with them when you open up the financing app if I'm if Logan's my customer and I'm sitting right here and I'm going through this stuff I'm gonna go okay Logan what's your email I'll put in the email and I'll go hey can you just look at this for me real quick and make sure I spell all this right and anyone that's watching, I do the same thing every time. Can you look at this? Does this look good? And he'll look at it. Okay, Ian, looks good. Okay. Um, and the birthday was just 6793. Cool. Um, I'm going to have you do this part. This one's just making sure you're going to qualify at 0% through financing. Um, go ahead and fill that out for me. And I'll hand it to him. All right. Go ahead and put that in. If you need help, let me know. But it's just going to have you verify. Put the buttons in on the top or the numbers in on the top. And then click the bottom and go ahead and fill that in. But it's super huge when you're doing this part. Don't just, you wanna ease into it. Like if I, especially if they're older too, if I'm looking at you straight <clears> up and forth, 
go sit like, hey man, I need to make sure, go sit next to him, because your butt, this is like friendly, you know what I mean? This is kind of um, confrontational. confrontational. You want to get right here, and then just show him, because now your friends, he's looking at it, so he can see it, and then just handing it to them, just because it's easy for them to obviously go ahead and type something like that in. Um, payment. Usually, if I'm just asking for card on file, be like, hey, especially if they had an alarm before, or they usually have some type of billing process they do, I'll be like, hey, for bills, uh, do you typically use credit or debit? They'll answer it. Usually, the older people checking, checking account, okay. So, debit then, you just like come out of your checking, cool. Um, and then this is what to say. So, this is one of the things he says. He says, oh, um, and they'll just have me authorize the first month's payment. Okay, this is what we're going to use just for future billing. You like using debit, cool. And then do you just have it with you by chance? I'm just going to swipe it real quick. Question. If you, have, have you ever come across an uh, elderly person that says, I don't have any cards, I just use uh, uh, my checkbook? Checkbook? Uh, yeah, all the time. I'll, and <laughs> sometimes people just pretend. I, I really do think a lot of the time, I, I would say 99% of people have a card and they just don't like using it, which I get. I'm like, hey, listen, um, if you use a checkbook, that's totally fine. I'm the bank card, the bank gives you a debit card. Um, and I'll just reiterate it so oh, like, they give you a debit card. Um, we just have to use something to swipe just because we're using everything on the iPad. And if you'd like afterwards, we can do paper billing. But just for right now, I do have to swipe something and it does have to match your name. So just for now, what would you like to use? Okay. Um, or if they truly don't have anything, um, I'll go run it again and then just put it into Spanish so it goes through Fortiva and then you can do the routing and account number. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll run another free screen. So I'll do the free screen, exact same thing, and then I'll put their middle initial on the next one, run it as Spanish, goes through as Fortiva at 0%, and then call in and say, hey, I need this in English. But it's still financing through Fortiva. That's why you can do the routing and account number. The ninja stuff. Yeah. Does this, does this make sense? That was the to You can put the, if you guys send them the remote signing and they do it from their phone, they can type in the account number and routing number. For citizens? Um, I don't think you can for citizens. No, it's just a card. Citizens, you can pay with a debit card, which means you can pay with a checking account because that's the same thing. Yeah, he just was saying if they didn't have citizens with it, and they can switch that after the first month, they can put a routing and account number in. But with Vivid, they have to pay with the card, and Vivid requires a swipe on the first for the first month. So that's the that's the issue to go through the financing application. You got to swipe it. Yeah. Yeah, or just, like I said, use, do the Fortiva thing. If, that, if they really don't have one, do that. Um, breaking the news. Uh, so this is just assuming most of the people here are same-day accounts. If you're not, uh, do it. It's super easy. It's, everyone's at home. At the end of the thing, you go, hey, cool, you know, what are you doing today? Nothing is 99% of the answers. You're not doing anything because you can't. Uh, so, check this out. Where do you want to put the panel? I have mine in my hallway. Where would you like to place it? It has to go above an outlet. Uh, okay, let's go look around. Cool, this is where it's at. Okay, we're going to do it right here. Um, now, I have Scott. Scott's my technician. He's doing, you know Alex Josie? He's like six, seven houses down. No? Okay. Once he's done with that, just so I can pay for the install, I'm just going to pay. He's going to come over here and bust this out for you. Is that okay? Cool. So, I'll get up. Where do you want the panel? Okay, this is where we're doing it. Tech's gonna be here in about 30 minutes to an hour. Any questions? Cool. That's it. Are we talking this today? Absolutely. We got customer service at its finest, Jermaine. Um, okay, pitches. <laughs> Dylan, why don't you come up here and give me a pitch real quick? Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Be uh, just do fresh door. Am I doing it? Yeah, you're doing it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hello? How's it going? Good, good, all right. Good, all right. My name's Dylan with Vivint. Have you heard of us before? Um, solar? I don't really want solar. No, no, we're not doing solar. So um, we're just out here setting up your neighbors with these doorbell cameras. Have you seen those before? Uh, I 
think my buddy has like the ring or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's super cool. So what's different about ours and the ring, mm -hmm. ours is actually encrypted. Hackers, it's a little harder for them to get into it. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have package protection on it. So that means like it'll send you a notification to the app on your phone, letting you know the packages have been I delivered. can talk out of my... Yeah, two-way okay. talk. Mm -hmm. um, that way, if someone comes to try to take your package, it'll actually have a red light that'll illuminate at them, mm -hmm. which will let them, let them know that they're there. That way it prevents them from taking the package rather than just recording. Unfortunately, a couple of the houses in the area, they haven't qualified. We do those smart thermostats too. Best way to check is the wiring of the thermostat. Do you know your thermostat four or five? Uh, I don't know, man. You don't know? No. Honeywell, GE. Um, let me go, let let me go. Let's go check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, good. What were things you did well? Uh, okay. Calm. Okay. He knows his doorbell camera, Pat. He does know his doorbell camera, Pat. Um, that was good. Flowed well. You, you kind of have the thing that obviously it's a little difficult doing in front of everyone here because you don't know what you're supposed to say. Um, no, that was good, man. I think just obviously, like I said, with doing it up here, it's a little different on the door. But one of the main things I was telling um, just everyone here in general, when you're when you're going up to a door, and I think Nolan brought this up in, in one of his trainings as well, you, you don't want to just look like the sales dude that just walks around and just they, they see that all the time. And so Dylan would call me up the other day of just like you know how how can I how can I get more houses? And I think intention um, you're supposed to be here, and we talk about it all the time. Just meter man <coughs> mentality of like you guys got to understand. I, I think. I like taking this job personally because uh, it's your money. You know what I mean? This is how you make money. This is how you, you live now. Like this is what you're doing to eat food and survive. They have my money. I, I'm, I'm giving you an alarm. My job is to sell alarms. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you can tell me no, and then I'm going to tell you why you're going to get it. Um, and I'm going to make it make sense, right? But you want to go to the, the door with an intention of like, I'm coming here for you specifically to get my job done. Um, I thought that was good. Um, go, Pooja. You're on the list next, actually. Um, Pooja, let's go. Let's go. I work with Vivint. Mm -hmm. Since coronavirus, there has been a lot of crime in your area. Have mm -hmm. you seen me working with your neighbors around here? Mm. That's cool. Okay. So what we're doing is the reason why I'm stopping by. We have a super simple promotion going on. We're going to put a sign in, in your front yard. Uh -huh. And we'll give you a free doorbell camera and set you a panel, something like this, at no cost. Uh -huh. And what this doorbell does is, so next time somebody steps into your yard, uh -huh. you'll get a notification on your phone. Okay. You get a package dropped off at your house, you get a notification on your door. Uh -huh. So, but not all, all homes qualify for it. The way we check depends upon the kind of thermostat you have in your house. Let me ask you this. You have a panel one or a digital one? Um, I think it's a button one. Button one? Uh -huh. Well, do you know if it's Honeywell or GE? No problem, think, sir. A lot of people don't know. Let's go take a quick oh, look at it. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's do. Gage. No. Let me do. Where's uh? Oh shit. Yeah. 